Today, we will answer a question from PHIMO. So here's the question. If f of x equals 16 raised to the power of x over 16 raised to the power of x plus 4, then what is the value of this expression when we evaluate f of 1 over 2025 plus f of 2 over 2025 plus f of 3 over 2025 all the way down to f of 2024 all over 2025. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now suppose you pause this video. Now let's see if you got the correct answer. Alright, so given this function f of x equals 16 raised to the power of x over 16 raised to the power of x plus 4, then our goal is to evaluate this expression f of 1 over 2025 plus f of 2 over 2025 all the way down to f of 2024 all over 2025. Now, first thing to do in this kind of question is to observe the given. Notice if we add 1 and 1 over 2025 and 2024 over 2025, we get an answer of 1. Also, if we add 2 over 2025 and 2023 over 2025, we also got 1. And so on and so forth until we reach the middle part, which is 1012 over 2025 plus 1,013 all over 1,025. And also take note, if we move 2,024 over 2,025 on the right-hand side, we get that 1 over 2,025 must be equal to 1 minus 2,024 over 2,025, of course. And also, we can do the same thing on the other equations like this. This is really important because we will use this concept to answer this question. So at this point, we have a function of f of x. So why not find the function of 1 minus x? Now, to get the value of f of 1 minus x, what we're going to do is to replace all of this x with 1 minus x, like this. And let's simplify. In this format, we will use the law of exponent. If we have b raised to the power of a minus c, we can rewrite this as b raised to the power of a over b raised to the power of c. So 16 raised to the power of 1 minus x, this will give us 16 raised to the power of 1 all over 16 raised to the power of x. We will do the same thing on this denominator. Next, also take note that 16 raised to the power of 1, this is just 16. Now, let's combine the terms on the denominator. So, let's multiply this 4 to 16 raised to the power of x over 16 raised to the power of x. The purpose is to have the same denominator. And now, let's add these two numbers. So, this will give us 16 plus 4 multiplied by 16 raised to the power of x all over 16 raised to the power of x. And if we divide the numerator to the denominator, we will get the reciprocal of the denominator and technically speaking, we eliminate the 16 raised to the power of x. So this will give us 16 all over 16 plus 4 multiplied by 16 raised to the power of x. Now, this 16 is just 4 raised to the power of 2 or simply equal to 4 times 4. Now, what is the purpose? Because here, we have now a common factor of 4. So we can eliminate a factor of 4. Now, we have a factor of 4 on the numerator, factor of 4 on the denominator, so we can cancel this out. So this will give us 4 over 4 plus 16 raised to the power of x. Since addition is commutative, we can rewrite this as 16 raised to the power of x plus 4. Now, we found the value of f of 1 minus x. Now, what is the purpose of this? Take note, we have the same denominator of 16 raised to the power of x plus 4. So why not? Let's combine these two functions. And if we do that, we get 16 raised to the power of x over 16 raised to the power of x plus 4 plus 4 over 16 raised to the power of x plus 4. And we have the same denominator, so we can combine them as follows. Now, we have the same numerator and denominator, so therefore, this is just equivalent to 1. Now, we found out that if we add f of x 
and f of 1 minus x, this will give us 1. In short, if we add f of 2024 over 2025 to f of 1 over 2025, this will give us a value of 1. The reason is 1 over 2025 is just 1 minus 2024 over 2025. Also, if we add f of 2023 over 2025 to f of 2 over 2025, we also get 1. So, let's rewrite this. So if we add f of 1 over 2025 to f of 2024 over 2025, we get 1. And if we do the same thing to the other pairs, we get also 1 until we reach f of 1012 all over 2025 plus f of 1013 all over 2025. Now, the next question must be how many 1s do we have? So here's the trick. So we have 1. 2 all the way down to 1,012. It follows that we have 1,012 once, and that will give us 1,012. Therefore, if we evaluate all of this expression, we get a total of 1,012. And that is our answer to this question. So if f of x equals 16 raised to the power of x, over 16 raised to the power of x plus 4, then the value of this expression, f of 1 over 2025 plus f of 2 over 2025 up to f of 2024 over 2025, and the answer is 1,012. And as always, we are done.